Hey, hey, Al Smith here from Train Change Fitness. I'm going to give you a quick setup on how to use the four different types of configurations. Now, something to keep in mind that although I'm demonstrating using the RT hooks, you can use any type of connector to screw inside of here. So to get started, here is the basic chain beast that many of you will probably remember what we started off at. This is what you saw at the Lowe's store. That was a really quick setup that you just pop it on the bar. It's the easiest setup. The downside is it doesn't allow for rotation. Next, we go and we have the new rotators. Now this rotator is actually designed for the F2 bar. So I'll be showing you how to set up the rotator. And once you have the rotator set up, you add on the chain beast. And then you can also use a standard rotator. Again, it's the same setup. You have the rotator and the chain beast. In this example, the chain beast is already installed. You will then just screw your RT hook on. And then what you can do is use this with any bar that's about one inch to about 1.05 inches for rotation. The last setup is the most basic setup, and this works exclusively with the F2 bar. This is what we call natural rotation. So with the natural rotation, you get more movement, vertical, horizontal rotation, and it requires more muscle stabilization for a more natural feel. This is exclusively for the F2 bar. So those are the basic components. Now, with that information, we're going to get set up, and I'm going to show you how to connect each one of these using the different methods.